Hello Cancer and welcome to your reading with me Melissa Joy. We are going to take a peek at what is going on down here. Let me turn it a little bit more so you get a better look. <clears throat> so this week's readings were kicked off with a message called expecting the unexpected and what's wild is it has a lot to do with wealth, prosperity, assistance, support, love, community, divinement. How do I know? and healing. Healing that's bigger than just feeling better. It restores all that was lost. So they asked me to keep the format of that read under here like a template to lay your cards on top of. And so Cancer, the theme that was coming in when I was doing my meditation beforehand for your reading is calling it like it is. Now it's pretty interesting because a private client that I had was wanting to get in touch with their deceased mother. Um, of course, no one's dead, but earthly deceased. And uh, they pulled me into this tarot deck that I have owned for two years, but do not use. And why? Because it's a fortune telling deck. But there was also the wheel of fortune out and everything 111. It's time to step into the truth of my calling, which is to tell it like it is. So let's get a look at what is going on here. And mm, okay. And you seem to be wanting to move in this direction, like taking a retrospect. Let's get that and let's see what is going to openly come out for Cancer here. So apparently, I think you're wanting to backtrack, yep, for a moment and then we'll move forward in time, okay? So hang on for the ride here. Hmm. What is happening? Good. I love that you're returning this old feeling of being left out in the cold. The five of pentacles of like hardship of hard as F times of needing dependency, interdependency on others that like you couldn't prosper on your own. But what it's calling me into is the light. Like you felt shut out, but when, when doors are closed, windows will open. And this is calling you in. It's calling you in to add your permission on top of it, which tilts it into the six of pentacles where things begin to work on your behalf all right oh i love it because this is what i don't know if you saw it but they were going do, 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 do. my cards love to move on their own and they're wanting to make the progress here and it's coming with the ace of wands so you have unseen help unseen forces coming in on your behalf and i like it because even though it's a wand this is not a fiery wand it's a wind wand so maybe catching wind of good news which is definitely great at this time having gone through the death star the death node of the taurus north node scorpio south node has been interesting for sure during the year of the tiger you might have been buckled and hanging on for dear life but those tides are turning and as each day of January ticks away more and more of that estrangement breaks this is breaking off of you so thank you for showing up here and having the courage to step forward and to believe see these are renewing your beliefs renewing your vows to yourself renewing your confidence in life you may have had to shed old belief systems like ways that it was going to come about or what it was going to look like and that's why i think we have face up and face down so let's get into what is down first Okay, King of Swords, which is very interesting because in this deck, it's kind of like a Joan of Arc energy, like a female that's pretending to be a male. Okay, so having to take in and step in and do a lot of outward expressing and action where life is calling, like this Ace of Wands here, to use your imagination. This is like a unification card of the Ace of Swords and the Ace of Wands coming on in, renewing your mind, and that is what is actually being called for here. That will overcome that old Taurian rut being stuck um, because we're the whole zodiac, so it's not picking on any part, and that brings in your structure and your wealth, your foundation upon which the four is why you're wondering to build upon. When the corners are square, when it all comes together and it makes sense in alignment with one another, then it just goes up rapidly from there. And you're talking about the ascension of your chakra revitalization. I'm excited about that. You're talking about your whole zodiac igniting and no longer just being caught in the traction of the Taurus energy that's been going on, whipping us about like a, like a shanty, like a jilted cart. 
and that ooh, which has created a lot of this bondage. And remember that dependency that was coming in from that five of pentacles, no longer having to be in connections or relationships because you have to, you need to, you're forced to, you came in this way, you don't know any different. There's no longer being hemmed in by ignorance or blindsidedness or um, short-sightedness. Uh, things that are either external or internal, okay? So this clarity begins to come from within of imagining these new possibilities and the devil's like, hold up. Now, mind you, I'm Capricorn Sun, but this is showing up more as like things being twisted on your mind and not seeing them from the true perspective that they are. Taking it in and getting a false reflection kind of moon and mirror energy. So, you might also want to check out your moon sign reading for this week of expecting the unexpected. Okay. And that has a lot to do with the um, old getting burned in relationships, that the destruction that has occurred around you. Okay. So, that is very heavy into your mending. Coming back from the fire. Maybe having to phoenix over and over again, which is very taxing and expensive on your beauty, on your throat chakra, on your solarness, all right? And bringing it back into the balance, doing away with the bipolar, with the division, with the separation of the mind, which keeps you locked out of the beauty and the essence. It's almost like these forces that have been operating around you that demand energy from you, but there is no return, no reciprocation, no reward. All right, so with that, we have the, the Eight of Pentacles coming on here. So this, it's how do you keep your head down instead of realizing how much you're rising up? This is almost like that strength tower at the fair where you take it and you wow the, okay, I'm gonna just say it like I'm here to, you whap the binger and it makes the bell ring, okay, that you're not hearing the bell ring. You're not hearing the bell ring saying school is out, life university is over, no more having to pay to play, okay? And I like it because you were setting up with the wheel of fortune in the prelude that was coming in on this conversation is you don't have to pay to play. To me, the wheel of fortune is when true justice comes in and life begins to move forward in our truth. When truth overtakes reality and it's no longer playing out out of karmic injury, out of the nodes, which they are in uh, retrograde. So it can begin to create a backspin on all of your life. And this a black hole, a void, a section, a draining of your finances, your creativity, your uh, your delightfulness towards life mm -hmm. and it has left you tattered and torn. When you have the castle, you were displaced from your truth. And I love that those foundational corners are coming in to be set because you put all of this on the mending friend. Okay, so now we're stepping in the coming together. And I'm going to pull a different card for this because these seem to be waiting on the funding and the finances. Okay, friend? So this has to do with that leveling up into the true love. Now, what I love is it's the eight because eight is great. It's being in true right relationship with yourself where it is reciprocated, that it isn't a this for a that because there is no break in it. The limnus skate and the eight, and it's not just like this, y'all. It's something that it is weaving and moving like that. It's very dynamic and it's beautiful and it's balanced and proportional, okay? But see with the pelican, pelican energy, which by the way, um, this year I'll be starting to alter my magic medicine necklaces that I've created. But this is coming in with um, pelican because pelican is stealth. It is swift, it is silent, and it is stable. Those are the four corners that are coming in for you. And that is beautiful because this is what the instability has created, the insecurity. And not saying that you're insecure when there isn't reciprocation or there's a, well, when you do this, then I'll do that. Those conditions, there's breaks in it. And so there is no flow, which is definitely detrimental to Cancerian energy because it begins to trigger the uh, crab side eye, the sideways promotion the um, adjacent possibilities that it seems like the grass is always greening up on the other side but somehow you've been uh, taking the tab the bill the payment for it so I am definitely wanting to get you immune on this what is underneath believe in the impossible because you know what it's saying I'm possible because I guarantee you whatever you are believing for is occurring right now in someone's life on this planet has occurred in someone's life on this planet beforehand so it's doing away with the old demolition the old phoenix energy and rising up in this earth and power of life's support for you that is the revelation that is the ignition that is going on here and I'm now recognizing that you are in full alignment 
by taking this retrospect to get clarity and confirmation on what you've been experiencing so that you can stand in your full confidence, which transcends into something called assurance, self-assurance. That is when we're like, wow, when we see people shining in who they are, it's the golden self. Okay, so let's power up into that and let's find out what it is. So now that you know, yeah, true, it's happening in somebody's life. Somebody has had their body healed. Somebody has had forgiveness from a spouse or a loved one. Someone has had their debts paid off by some unknown source around them. There are wild things that happen. Their house has been saved. Their life has been saved. Whatever else, it has legitimately happened is somewhere, someplace, sometime on this planet. So connect to that. Connect to the fact that it is your turn. It is calling in for you because if it is seated and seated in your heart, it is here to arise and to come into fruition rapidly, okay? Not because it's going to be a clock or a calendar. It's like a coming forward, like, whoo, that made my ear ring. Mm, maybe some jewelry for you too, man or oh, woman. It is this coming forth rapidly into the physical sphere, all right? So you keep bringing it up and turn it up like light it up. And if you're showing up calendarically, irregardless, it is right now. It is in this time. The moon is coming in two days time, friends. So get ready. Hold on to yourself. Hug yourself. Kiss yourself. James Brown yourself. Maybe even a little bit of Scooby-Doo. Whatever wax you out and gets you excited and laughing and having a good time again. Because remember, you don't have to pay to play. Now in the wheel, there is work and there is play, but the work is the rewarding. It's not the jobbing that we do of checking lists in order to satisfy other people's requirements. It has to do with the truth of who we are and what resonates inside of us that we would do even if we weren't getting paid, that that is where you're talking about the reciprocation beginning to come back in and the connection, um, community connections. These are people, networks, opportunities, as well as financial gains. So you're saying we're still over here because these are pointing back towards this mending. How do we mend your finances and the expenses that you have been um, footing for so long? Okay. And apparently that's where the coming together is talking about. Being able to displace the poverty and the disconnect. Well, your hard work is paying off and it takes time to breathe out, to exhale to exhale because a natural thing in our body is breathing, whether we choose to be conscious about it or not. But when we enter in consciously, we can begin to alter the rhythm and get in unification with who we are. So when you exhale, what's naturally going to come next? The inhale. Now the inhale, it goes along with my word of the year or my word of this season until it moves forward, one, two, three, four, is inspired. Because when we release the old, the exhale, then we're going to, Bring it in. And when we do, we're bringing in clearing energy. We're clearing out that cosmic egg or our aura where old energies, old thought patterns, old mm, maybe even vibrations of what people have spoken over us. We can choose to cleanse it out by the breath. And that clears the head space around us, which is anywhere your arms and legs can stretch out and touch. And it brings in this clarity and presence of mind. I absolutely love that because we just passed this new moon in Capricorn. So these are already opening up for you, friend. And as we crux over this full moon and begin to go towards the waning, especially you're saying the waning gibbous, which is going to be a quick step here, friend. We're going to get into this all that glitters. So with this, we have the Hierophant Wheel of Fortune, Death, Justice, and the Queen of Cups. Okay. So we have four major arcana going on here. All right, we have the story being told, friend, and you are the Queen of Cups moving on through. So if you notice, she has her feet by the water, but she's not swallowed up in it. So there is doing away with the drowning, the sorrow, the grief, the obligation, and being able to hold your cup and look at this. That thing is some fine wine going on and has overcome the power of these moons, of the limitations that are there, of the parenthetical, meaning the parentheses saying, well, here's the clause, here's the exclusion, here's the stipulation, here's the condition. You like, <laughs> I see you going like, flick. If I can make them snap really loud, it's like, I don't know. It sounds like this, like, <laughs> smacking down on that. Oh, my clit is you like, Dang, Skippy punks you wait, that joy. I love you, Cancer. And here was what is amazing. Look, you have a box crown. A box crown. 
Now that you are self-assured and you've confirmed this and you feel stable in the truth of the realization that you've personally had, that this message is coming forward into you, into the confirmation of what you've experienced, think about it. the most dangerous jellyfish in the world is the box jelly. And they're saying you are now dangerous because you are self-assured, you are confirmed, you know who you are, and you know that these things have no rights to overtake you anymore, that it's not going to tip or turn or twist or tempt your mind out of your own power zone because this is yours and you are now knowing it. Heaven and earth have met here and they're commingling to bring forth your desired outcome. So I love it. We have the justice and the hierophant coming in kind of together, book ending what we have going on here. So we actually have, they've been telling me about uh, heaven and earth wise. So we have a red base root chakra down here and we also have one hovering up above us. It's, it's both earth star energy and it has to do with this creating a ship with ourselves, a relationship. And, and that comes the death and the wheel of fortune. So this is like the ending of the old conditions of how you are worthy. Let me go ahead and tell you, let's scratch that. Scratch that because worth has a conveyance of like a measuring. And when we measure, then it puts our mind into measuring those around us, measuring our past or our future, measuring where we're at now versus where we think we should. But when we come into the truth of what Hierophant and Justice want to say here is you are valuable. You are valuable, and that's intrinsic to who you are, specific to who you are, an individual. It cannot be measured against anything else, quantified or, or otherwise, all right? So I love that that's bringing that on in here, and you're kind of careening over into the world and the magical shapeshifter, like picking your power of fire. You're wanting to select your passion and your passion being your strength because it brings you into the delightful land, the delightful opportunities, heavy on the light, meaning <laughs> what is coming out before you. So this is what is offering itself. Let's see. And we have a joiner here. Six of cups. All right. Just a little straightening and zhuzhing in your environment. There isn't this huge overhaul. So it was squaring up your corners, squaring it up here. So a lot of Metatron's cube getting in alignment with what, with who you are and what you know to be true about you. Okay, friend. So with that, that coming in with the strength, the beauty, the divine, just a little bit of scrub above going on. And we have, okay, four of swords. Now we know apparently that your magical power is healing. And that somehow you got stuck in this eddy and this tailspin of the only thing you got was payment out and having to pay again, double pay. So they're saying that fourth sword that you've been sitting on, that old heartache of that's all it seems to be, that it hasn't, the story has not evolved or developed beyond that. But see, Hedgehog is looking straight at you with that quirky, twerky little nose saying, you know, maybe there is more. And it's been capped off by winter and hiding out and holding up for fear that that's all there is. But here we have the sun and the moon coming in together, seeing things clearly, clear perspective, not having to dig around for compliments or confirmation or assurance of who you are, or how things are going to go. And all this rabblement of the mind, the polarizing, remember? that we were talking about at the beginning. No, it's the wholeness in between. This is a distraction. Go through here, my friend. Go through here and the moon is always whole. The fraction of the light that we see is just where we are in relation to it. 18, 18, you've moved beyond the desert, friend, and coming into this gloriousness of owning your sun. Just by owning it, that is the protective power that brings forth this rarity and the jewel. See the red showing up again. It's not this braggadocious, loud, threatening Toro the bull in your face. It's more like a dis. That was easy. Why? Because it is your nature. It is natural to who you are. It is It is this being able to remain in your body and the confidence in the truth. Friend, I love this for you, Cancer. Hey, if you're still here, you might consider checking out the description down box down below where it lists all the readings that I provide for y'all if you would like a personal reading. Also, you could smash that like button, tickle it, tap it, whatever you want to do. It is free and it helps us rise to the top. Also, leave your comments down below so I can get to know who is shopping at this channel. I'm excited to love and support you along the way. All right, friend, we'll talk soon.